How can you do the epoxy without the weighing scales? Well, this Wessex 10 glue gun comes out ready mixed. It's got two chambers in it. And uh, as you squeeze it out through a syringe that mixes it for you, it comes out and mixes it in the correct proportions. That's two chambers. You've got resin and hardener chamber. Put your syringe on the outside. And it comes out in a nice mixture like it's got it's got a bit of colloidal silica in it so it's quite thixotropic and we're going to do a tiny one on the end. This is the looking at the hole. But then if we do this it comes out and the two mix mix together. By the time you get to the end you've got ready mixed epoxy. I'm just going to waste a bit just to make sure that it, I've got both chambers working correctly and that's a bit of, I'm going to waste and this bit here I'm now going to put inside the gaps. So I've used a rivet and that's got rid of the some most of the resin on that one. I'm gonna fill from the middle this time. Because it will can you see it going out? Yeah. That's better. This end's not fill. Yeah. I'm filling from the middle. I it is it comes now. up now. So when you finish with the Wessex 10, just take your nozzle off. Make sure you've You've relaxed your, your gun, take your nozzle off, and that nozzle has to be thrown away sadly, but I think it's worth cleaning the each of the chambers. So you've got resin chamber, hardener chamber, and then you have to put your your cap on the outside again. Resin chamber, hardener chamber. It's really clever. Squeeze it into place. Put the screw cap on. Ready for the next time. Too good.